live on air. Welcome to today's Open Your Eyes People broadcast. I'm your host, evangelist Anita Rivera. It is June 6, 2021, and I have a broadcast, a report to bring to you all as to the earth shaking. Why is the planet shaking? Man, you know, I just put up a, a number of headlines uh, on my social media page over on Facebook. If you uh, don't follow me, and really, please, when I say follow, we, we follow the Lord Jesus. But I'm just making it clear for you to get your updates, for you to get your, uh, you know, the live broadcast that we do, uh, and, and, and reports, headlines from all around the world proving that we're living in the last days, I want to invite you to visit my Facebook page. You know, visit me on Twitter, follow us, like us, however that stuff goes. Click on the button so that you'll receive the updates is what I'm saying. Uh, because, you know, for instance, just earlier today I was posting some reports and again, it continues to prove that we're living in the times that the Bible speaks of the last days, the signs of the times that Jesus himself detailed in three different gospels, the gospel of Matthew chapter 24, the gospel of Mark chapter 13, and the gospel of Luke chapter 21. Um, one of the headlines I posted on social media was mystery as earth's solid iron inner core is growing faster on one side than the other, messing with our magnetic field. Fascinating read. Another report with regards to earthquakes. I'm going to get into that with you right now. Another report, FAA data shows strange pattern of military encounters with unidentified aircraft. Another report coming in from India, or not from India, from Canada, where a mystery brain disease is apparently broken out over in New Brunswick, Canada, leaving patients uh, with severe hallucinations, such as seeing dead people and uh, along with several other uh, symptoms, and they're describing it as a medical mystery. They're saying, listen, we don't know what's going on and why, but they're really concerned about it. All of that is so much more, but today's report, today's report is with regards to the earth shaking, and so I have titled this report, The Earth is Shaking in Quakes All Over the World, and we're going to bring to you some reports proving that along with why. Okay, I can share with you all the news, but I'm not CNN, I'm not MSNBC or Fox, I'm not doing any, I'm not mainstream media, I'm not really even alternate media. I am an end time minister, preacher, an evangelist, preaching the word of God to you, and I get to use the headlines, which I believe is, is part of the signs of the times proving that we're living in the last days. So without further ado, please have your Bible, because you're going to need it, so at least so you know you can see the scriptures I'm going to be sharing with you here in a moment, to answer the question, so that we can know the reason why the earth is shaking the way it is all right for instance earthquakes at underwater I should say earthquake at underwater Hawaii volcano shakes Big Island uh, just a couple of days ago it says here an earthquake at an active deep south sea volcano off Hawaii shook the Big Island but did not appear to have any impact on nearby active volcanoes yet an earthquake at an active deep sea volcano off Hawaii shook the Big Island uh, the U.S. Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory said the magnitude 4.0 quake Wednesday night was located under Lohi Seamount, about 20 miles southwest of the island of Hawaii, also known as the Big Island, and that this particular earthquake actually occurred at a depth of 7 miles. Another report was also involving earthquakes, this time two earthquakes, a 5.2 in magnitude that hit off Oregon coast. Now, I'll, I'll be honest, friends, when we hear a report about any earthquakes that hit near or around Oregon, we really ought to pay attention because I have uh, posted on my YouTube channel uh, significant reports concerning the state of Oregon, the state of Washington, uh, and um, really all along the western seaboard uh, because of warnings uh, that they are overdue for a big one. And so again, uh, I actually want to lead you to my YouTube channel as well. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, take a moment to do that because uh, within the past a few weeks, I've been reporting on a geologist st you know, stating that a major tsunami is expected to strike off the state of California. Another one, uh, regarding the big one to hit uh, along the east, along the west coast, uh, predominantly around the Oregon area, that could send a tsunami 
uh, significantly inward of that state causing massive destruction and more. So, uh, you know, again, visit my YouTube channel, subscribe, and you'll get all the latest updates on the particular broadcasts and, and, and reports that I share with you all. This one here was two 5.9 magnitude earthquakes that struck the Pacific Ocean off Oregon's coast early Friday morning, according to the USGS. The tremors occurred about 89 miles and 98 miles west of the coastal town of Gold Beach, Oregon, after 1 o'clock in the morning local time. A few people reported light shaking on the coast, and at least five earthquakes raging in magnitudes from 3.2 to 5.9 have occurred in the area in the last few hours just uh, on Friday, just this last Friday. So again, we see this cluster of earthquakes happening in the same area uh, that also happened uh, in the end of April. Okay, so uh, this really, I, I, I'm, I'm going to be following up on this because they're, again, you know, according to uh, seismologists and scientists and researchers, they're saying that this area along the West Coast is really overdue for the big one, and it would be quite catastrophic. Another report of the Earth shaking is found in Nebraska and south of Dakota. 3.7 magnitude earthquake felt in parts of Nebraska and South Dakota, uh, and uh, it's, it's, it's caused their attention over in that area. Another earthquake shaken. 3.9 magnitude earthquake strikes Mount Hood south of Summit. This really also should get our attention because we're looking at an increase in volcanic activity, which is a major sign of end time biblical prophecy and the soon coming day of the Lord. Uh, according to Oregon, or according, yeah, according to Government Camp Oregon, an earthquake struck Mount Hood Saturday, Saturday night to be exact, shortly before 9 p.m. The U.S. Geological Survey said it recorded a 3.9 magnitude earthquake that struck just under 2.5 miles south of the mountain summit. The USGS said it struck at a depth of 2.6 miles below sea level. Now, this particular earthquake was felt in the vicinity around Mount Hood and was preceded by several other earthquakes in the same hour before the 3.9 earthquake struck. Scientists have noticed several aftershocks that have followed as well. So, the rumbling also prompted the first shake alert message from the USGS early warning system. And that particular system just went online in Oregon earlier this year. So, uh, this really is to get our attention because that shake alert is supposed to be a setup uh, to help first responders and to help the residents in the area uh, see if they have time to evacuate prior to an earthquake shaking. So this particular shake alert message was able to send an alert out just 10 seconds before the earthquake began. Clearly not enough time for any residents to evacuate if there was an actual big one that took place, but they were trying, you know, you have the experts trying to see what they can do to save lives and we appreciate that. Another report of the earth shaking found in California. More than 600 earthquakes uh, have shaken the California-Mexico border since Saturday, just yesterday, friends, and the largest registered at a 5.3 on the Richter scale. More than 600 small earthquakes have been recorded this weekend in a rural area near the Salton Sea in Southern California, with the largest having a magnitude of 5.3 according to the USGS. Geophysicist Randy Baldwin said the 603 timblers with a magnitude of at least one happened in the area from Saturday to just before sunrise on Sunday, just today. Now the quakes were centered near Calipatria, which is along the San Andreas Fault, and about 30 miles north of the Mexican border. So again, this is all to really get our attention. Uh, the earth is shaking and we are going to find out why here in a moment, but uh, I, I, you know, again, I, I find it fascinating that this area of the world is, is shaking because warnings of a major tsunami to strike off California. They're waiting. They're saying, listen, it, 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 this area, the West Coast, all the way, uh, you know, as, as, as far south as, you know, Mexico, all the way as far north to the, you know, Oregon, Washington state area is overdue for a 9.3 magnitude earthquake that they're saying is expected to strike underwater and would generate a wave that would hit Southern California, uh, you know, within several hours and inundate portions of, of, of that state, along with Oregon. Same exact warning. Um, and so, uh, you know, again, we're, we're, we're going to follow up. We're going to keep our eyes open concerning all the reports in that area. Another 
another region to really again uh, you know to you know to you know to you know keep following up on is Yellowstone. Come on, Yellowstone volcano. 72 earthquakes rocked the US super volcano amid fears of another, in this case, I should say another report of overdue eruption. So they're overdue for a uh, you know, major tsunami, a, you know, major earthquake to strike California, Oregon, Washington state area, and Yellowstone is also overdue according to the experts. So when we hear 72 earthquakes rocking this area of the US, it really should gain our attention. Yellowstone volcano experienced more than 70 earthquakes last month, according to the latest report from the U.S. Geological Survey. The update comes amid persisting fears that the U.S. supervolcano is overdue for another eruption. Now, Yellowstone volcano experiences as many as 3,000 earthquakes each year, but with every little earthquake and with every little tremor, feel fears of the volcano blowing up skyrocket. So we really cannot dismiss this as something that just happens. I know we have a lot of pundits, we have a lot of reporters that say, you know, they try to calm down the public before any potential panic or concern and they say, well, stuff like this happens. No, it really doesn't. And if it does, it is, it is, it is meant to get our attention to know that we're coming closer. This, this, this is like an added debt, it's like the national debt continuing to increase. Well, this is... Uh, added, you know, these are earthquakes that continue to increase, leading us eventually to the blowing up of Yellowstone. Now, the latest data collected within the Yellow, and not just Yellowstone, again, uh, also the, uh, you know, the overdue quake that's expected to hit, uh, you know, the West Coast as well. But they're saying here to go back to Yellowstone, the latest data collected within the Yellowstone area in the Western U.S. indicates a total of 72 earthquakes rocked the National Park. And though the seismic activity is below the par for Yellowstone's typical output, many people still live in fear of a major eruption brewing deep beneath the U.S. Social media in particular is rife with speculation and unfounded claims about Yellowstone's supposed explosive future. Yellowstone's volcano's last eruptive period went off about 70,000 years ago when the volcano belched enough lava to form the Pitchstone Plateau in southwestern Yellowstone National Park. The supervolcano also experienced three major eruptions some 2.1 million, 1.3 million, and 640,000 years ago, which has led to claims Yellowstone erupts like clockwork. So they expect this to be on a typical cycle that it already has. Proven, a rec you know, record been proven. Now, um, though the U.S. Geological Survey has persistently debunked those particular claims, uh, it, there are still, uh, you know, experts and others who, uh, persistently, who, who persist that Yellowstone is going to blow one day without warning. Now, um, it has been reported that humans live between volcanic eruptions of the Yellowstone supervolcano roughly every 650,000 years as it erupts. Last time Yellowstone erupted, roughly one million proto, uh, excuse me, it says here, um, you know, possibly one million proto-humans lives in Africa's Rift Valley, Central Europe, and Siam. Uh, next time Yellowstone erupts and it is overdue, Yellowstone will kill billions. Another uh, report is stating that Yellowstone mega volcano is tens of thousands of years overdue to blow its top. And another report says that it's, you know, that's the problem, that's the concern, is that Earth may very well be doomed because of all the planetary life that we know of is eventually doomed. Now, the comet which wiped out the dinosaurs was fairly recently geologically and seems to have happened multiple times before. That's according to another report. We know Yellowstone is overdue to blow. We just cannot stop it. Now, according to the Yellowstone Volcanic Observatory, branch, which is a branch of the USGS, Yellowstone was rocked by 72 earthquakes last month, and the biggest tremor was a magnitude 2.5 micro-earthquake about seven miles south of West Thumb. And, um, you know, this, again, is to get our attention. You know, it's, it's a beautiful hydrothermal feature in the park, right? You have geysers, hot springs, mud pots, or probably some of you who visited. Uh, this 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 Yellowstone area, uh, but make no mistake about it, uh, all of the earthquakes are clearly signs that this hot spot brewing, it, it is brewing and getting ready for major eruption, according to experts. And so, the question when it comes to Yellowstone is whether the uh, expected eruption is imminent or not. 
is 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 you know will it will it happen will we have a warning before it happens i pray we do because if we don't have warning if there is not a significant warning i you know I, you know hours would help you know if we have a six hour advanced window of warning before yellowstone would explode that would be great but we would need weeks to prepare because it would and i would you know if we could even get months there would be massive chaos in the streets it would be people trying to leave not only the areas of 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 the epicenter of the explosion of that earthquake but really states states would be impacted the u.s would be impacted as a whole of course it would be a global uh, you know, global domino effect because of the stock market, the, you know, the world economy would actually be affected by Yellowstone exploding. So we would be talking about, uh, you know, not only trillions of dollars of damage, but billions of lives, uh, you know, devastated, killed if we do not have advanced warning. And again, um, you know, months, I'm talking about several months in advance warning for people to actually pack up and relocate and, and even leave the country would be necessary for this you know for the you know for the uh, you know for the you know for the possible help of keeping um you know americans lives safe but i i don't think that is you know feasible i don't think that's possible i don't think there's a way for that to happen unless you know of course i would say god intervene outside of that man's help you know it, it would it would be uh you know futile they can only do what they can you know again i just shared with you that one alert system shake alert is that what it was called that oregon just set up earlier this year shake alert message to see how you know how quickly a message an alert message can get to the residents of an area before an earthquake strikes and the one that they got the 3.9 magnitude earthquake that struck mount hood sent a 10 second warning before the earthquake began that's clearly not enough time to even you know take a moment to nod your head if you will Anyway, let's get into what the Bible has to say, because the Bible shares a lot of relevant verses, a lot of relevant scriptures, and even prophecies concerning the earth shaking and, and God's involvement in it. I know many people don't see God's hand in it. They don't, they, don't, they don't recognize the presence of the Lord, but throughout scripture, in the Old Testament and in the New, but let's talk about, um, well, again, we rightly divide the word of truth, so we could take both both portions, both you know covenants, both testaments. But I like to focus on the Old Testament for a moment. Anytime the earth shook, God's presence was involved. Any you know, anytime the earth trembled, God's presence was involved. His voice uh, was evoked, and it was for a reason. Anything that the Lord does is not in vain, and we we can rest in that. Okay, so Psalm chapter twenty nine verse eight says the following the voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness the Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh Psalm chapter 82 verse 5 they do not know nor do they understand they walk about in darkness all the foundations of the earth are shaken Haggai chapter 2 verse 6 for thus says the Lord of hosts once more in a little while I am going to shake the heavens and the earth the sea also and the dry land Haggai chapter 2 verse 21 speak to Zerubbabel governor of Judah saying I am going to shake the heavens and the earth Isaiah chapter 13 verse 13 therefore I will make the heavens tremble and the earth will be shaken from its place at the fury of the Lord of hosts in the day of his burning anger Luke chapter 21 verse 26 men fainting from fear and the expectation of the things which are coming upon the world for the powers of the heavens will be shaken boy oh boy all of this in line with all the reports I've been sharing with you and all that's been happening around the world Hebrews chapter 12 verse 26 and his voice shook the earth then but now he has promised saying yet once more I will shake not only the earth but the heavens also Haggai chapter 2 verse 7 I will shake all the nations and they will come with the wealth of all nations and I will fill this house with glory says the Lord of hosts Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 6 he stood and surveyed the earth he looked and startled the nations yes the perpetual mountains were shattered the ancient hills collapsed his ways are everlasting amen 
Amos chapter 9 verse 9 for behold I am commanding and I will shake the house of Israel among all nations as grain is shaken in a sieve but not a kernel will fall to the ground. 1 Kings chapter 14 verse 15 for the Lord will strike Israel as a reed is shaken in the water and he will uproot Israel from this good land which he gave to their fathers and will scatter them beyond the Euphrates River because they have made their Asherim provoking the Lord to anger. Amos chapter 9 verse 1, I saw the Lord standing beside the altar and he said, smite the capitals so that the thresholds will shake and break them on the heads of them all. Then I will slay the rest of them with the sword. They will not have a fugitive who will flee or a refugee who will escape. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 27, this expression yet once more denotes the removing of those things which can be shaken as of created things so that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. Ezekiel chapter 38 verse 20, the fish of the sea, the birds of the heavens, the beasts of the field, all the creeping things that creep on the earth and all the men who are on the face of the earth will shake at my presence. The mountains also will be thrown down. The steep pathways will collapse and every wall will fall to the ground. Revelation chapter 6 verse 13 and the stars of the sky fell to the earth as a fig tree casts its unripe figs when shaken by a great wind. Acts chapter 4 verse 31 and when they had prayed the place where they had gathered together was shaken and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak the word of God with boldness. And Acts chapter 16 verse 26 and suddenly there came a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison house were shaken and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were unfastened. So friends, what I see here is that as God is shaking things up, there are opportunities for us to be bold in the midst of the shaking, for us to receive uh, the anointing of God, the gift of God, to speak the word of God with boldness and to have chains loosened, to, to see bondages broken, to see people finally be released from the prison that they have been held by for so long. Make no mistake about it, God is shaking all things. God is shaking foundations, he is shaking nations, he's shaking capital, uh, you know, shaking capitals, he's shaking people. What, so that whatever can be shaken will be shaken so that we can receive a kingdom which can never be shaken. And I'm all for God's shaking because there's a promise with it. And I give God praise. He knows what he's doing in the midst of all of it. And so we can thank him for his promises. He is a good God and we give him praise for all things. Folks, I want to say thank you so much for tuning in to today's Open Your Eyes People broadcast. As always, it is a privilege and a pleasure to bring to you all the Word of God, breaking world news headlines, matching Bible prophecy. I want to invite you all that if you've been blessed by the work of this end time ministry to take a moment and visit my website. Just do it right now, www.openyoureyespeople.com. There also will be a link associated with this broadcast, either right below it or right above it, depending on where you're tuning in. On Facebook is right above, I believe, and on YouTube is right below. So um, click on the link as well if, if you're if, you know if you're able to do that. If not, you can just simply log on again to my website at www openyoureyespeople.com and I want to ask and invite you again to take a moment to show your support with a donation. Your donations help make the work of this end time ministry possible. Uh, also, uh, I want to invite you to become a monthly partner. Uh, your monthly partnership makes, again, makes it possible for us to do all that we get to do here in preaching the Word of God and the ministry of the end times to a world that needs to know how late the hour is. Thank you. Um, also, our mailing address, if you'd like to mail us, is P.O. Box 218, Shirts, Texas 78154. While you are on our website as well, take a moment and um, make yourself at home. Learn more about me and my ministry and receive. Uh, receive from the work that we do here so that you can renew your mind and be strong in the times that we're living in. To be strong and of good courage. To not be afraid 
Not be dismayed or confused because God is with you wherever you go. Thank you again for tuning in. Until the next broadcast, may you all be richly blessed. Bye-bye.